This project in its entirety is a real tribute to an incredibly innovative process and collaborative process between the owner, the architect, the general contractor, and the, ourselves as the engineer. The KF Aerospace Centre for Excellence is a place for people to come and get immersed in the story of aviation in the Okanagan. Barry Lapointe had a vision that he wanted to start a non-for-profit and leave a legacy for aviation. We went to lunch and he showed me his vision, which was a drawing of an aircraft-shaped mass timber building. When I first got a piece of paper and a pencil out with Paula, and I said, you know, I want this to look like an airplane so that it attracts people. There'll be two wings, which will be hangars for airplanes. There'll be the centerpiece, which will be the fuselage. I think there's a, a, a heck of a story to be told about the Okanagan Valley, and the story is about people. The project started with an idea that Barry LaPointe wanted to have a mass timber project with 100% BC local timber. And to do so, we're all trying to figure out how we were going to design a project and get it built in a rapid amount of time. When you peel away the skin, early aircraft were constructed in wood, and a lot of it was BC, Sitka spruce, and other, other woods. We started like a folded airplane kind of structure, but as we drilled into it and started working with our structural engineers about materials, material efficiency, how to span, how to do things efficiently and well in, in, in wood. As the structure led the decisions, we just orchestrated and managed kind of those moves. Having the project built from mass timber and having so many of the components pre-manufactured off-site and then shipped to site actually sped up the production of the building. Mass Timber actually is a great product to work with. It's quieter to build. There's less people involved in actually putting the structure up than there would be with a, a concrete building. One of the keys to enabling a structural system with as many different types and as many different components as you see in this building is really a computational approach to the 3D modeling and the structural analysis and design of the building. And one of the challenges the client posed to us was how to create a stair, a feature stair, connecting the main floor to the space above on the second level. On a structural level, we have a spiral uh, glue lamb stairwell. It's a reference in some manner to the early 747s, the trip up to a first class lounge. So we're using CLT panels that are doubly curved, spiraling up 70 feet from one floor to the next, completely unsupported. So when it came to building the Center of Excellence, I thought that there's some way that I want to pay back to the community of aviation by building a facility that could be both an educational tool, a place to see some very antiquated airplanes that were very close to me. And anybody that walks up to this building for the first time is going to look at it and say, wow. And I think if you can get people to feel that way about it, they're happy when they get inside it and they're going to be happy when they leave it, and they're going to come back, and that was my goal.